2022 has been not only a very frustrating time for investors, but also a confusing time. Um, we've rapidly entered a bear market in equities. The bond market's lost about $10 trillion worth of market value. And the question that's on everyone's mind is why? Why are we seeing this abrupt change in the investing environment? The answer is pretty simple. It's the end of easy money. I'm Megan Horniman, the Chief Investment Officer with Verdant's Capital Advisors. Let's explain what the easy money regime means. For decades, the U.S. economy and really the global economy has enjoyed a gradual decline in interest rates. This started back in the 70s and 80s when Paul Volcker was successful in defeating that hyperinflation period. And what we've seen, as you can see in this chart, is we've entered a 40 plus year bond bull market where the level of interest rates has declined alongside the level of inflation. In the decades that followed after that, we had technological advancements, um, globalization. These things kept pricing pressures in the U.S. low. It kept inflation low. Then you combine the Great Recession of 2007 to 2009. During that period, central banks had to shift to a whole new paradigm of interest rate policy. You, had to, you saw central banks implementing negative interest rates just in order to, to stem off a collapse of the global economy. You saw central banks expanding their balance sheets by basically printing money. None of those effects really induced inflation. It did help us come out of that great recession, but the level of inflation still remained very low. In turn, we still had very low interest rate policy, easy money. The result of this easy money regime has been specifically over the past decade, you've seen households really take advantage of the record low interest rate environment by paying down debt, um, using the low interest rates to finance homes, finance automobiles. Corporations did the same thing. Um, corporations paid down old debt with high interest rates, replaced it with new debt that had lower interest rates. This helped them shore up their balance sheets. But from an investment perspective, this is where we really started to see risk taking in the market. In the bond market, the yields were so low that you saw investors reaching for credit, uh, sacrificing credit quality and buying high yield debt um, with very low risk reward potential. In the equity market, you saw investors paying steep premiums for any companies that were able to grow their earnings in a low inflation and a low economic growth environment. That meant that multiples or that you know, what investors were paying for every dollar of earnings were increasing to levels that we haven't seen since the dot-com bubble. We also saw the rise of speculative investments. Um, think about the cryptocurrency market, non-fungible tokens. These are all the result of easy money, accommodative money, excess liquidity. We've described to you how we've gotten to this easy money regime over the past few decades. But now we want to explain why we're seeing this abrupt shift, this paradigm shift in really global central bank policy. The answer is pretty simple. Unfortunately, we finally have inflation. As you can see in this chart, we're looking at inflation running at levels that we haven't seen since the 1970s and 1980s. There's a few reasons why we're seeing this shift in uh, inflation. Primarily, it's the result of the actions that were taken during the pandemic. Um, from a fiscal stimulus perspective, the fiscal stimulus that was handed out really makes what we did in 2007 and 2008 look like a blip on the radar. Um, from a monetary policy standpoint, the amount of money that was printed just to avoid um, another depression was astronomical. We're paying for these actions. Now, to be fair, there were a lot of decisions made in a period where we were in an uncharted territory and they had to be made quickly from a health perspective, but we're now dealing with the consequences from those actions. There was so much money handed out. You have so much pent up demand from consumers when the economy reopened. You have a supply chain that ended up in disarray um, from the closures and the lack of workers during the pandemic that now we just have too much money chasing too few goods. We have an inflation problem. This is the reason why we're seeing central banks around the world have to 
aggressively raise interest rates. They were put on the back burner earlier this year because of the war in Russia and Ukraine. Now they're trying to play catch up. And we're seeing some of the biggest interest rate hikes that we've seen from the Federal Reserve since the mid-1990s. For investors, the end of easy money means a few things. Expect higher interest rates. Um, that's a given. Also, expect volatility in the markets. This is going to continue as we navigate through this tightening cycle and what it may, the effect it may have on the economy. Recession odds are rising, but keep in mind that a recession and a tightening cycle are all part of a long-term investment cycle. We'll continue to monitor portfolios We'll look for opportunities because history does tell us that opportunities arise in situations like this. And if you have any questions or concerns, we're here. Please feel free to reach out to any of your financial advisors.